using pressure and temperature sensors, monitoring the air conditioning on a Prius C 2012. So the sensors that are hooked up here while I'm driving down the road, you have the pressure sensor on the high side and low side where you see PSI. And yes, that does say 66 PSI on the high side. And that is normal for those who go by pressures and temperatures. But the outside temperature is 57 degrees if you see there. But if I put my temperature thermometer out the door, not the Priuses, uh, but the Testo, it says it's 54 degrees. So don't know how accurate that is. Uh, temperature out of my dash right now is 38.7 degrees coming out of the, the dash at this temperature sensor right here. Then the 68 degrees is another sensor that is located inside and that's actually my inside cabin inside right up in there that's the fresh air intake where i took out my glove box there's another one of these sensors up inside there so right now that is 69 69 degrees 69.3 that is the temperature of the inside of my car. That is the recycle air, because it's on recycle mode. So let's change that, and let's go to fresh air mode. So now we're going to fresh air mode, and we'll see what changes. Okay. Not much difference in temperature yet. And as you can uh, see, the duct air dash temperature is constantly staying about 38, 39 degrees. It hovers within there. Now look when I come to an idle, I'm at a stop. Look at my high side pressure go up. There's no air flowing over the condenser other than the fan, if the fan needs to kick on. See the pressure go up? Now this is what's happening to you. The difference between, the difference between sitting in your stall doing a diagnosis and driving down the street are two different conditions that go on. As I pick up speed here, you see the pressure go down on the high side. I can't get up speed here. Where I need to drive is inside the park. So the test is I prefer the field piece software. I really don't like the test of software at all. Uh, it's very not intuitive. The testos, the testos I got to use. So I have a secondary backup set of equipment and to use with the measure quick software, not with the testo software. But I'm just demoing the testo software right now. Oh, I came into a dead end street where they're doing some work. Okay, that street's shut down. So there's two sensors out there on the high side and low side fittings, and there's two sensors out there on the suction side line. And I'll pull over and, and show you in a minute. So here's the high side sensor, here's the low side sensor. That's the suction line sensor right there, 832, 
and then down below you see another blinking light and that is the liquid line going to the expansion valve so that's where those sensors are oh look it we have bubbles but I just filled the system up two days ago and it's completely full oh my god I have to add another can of refrigerant in there for those guys who like to determine the charge of an AC system by how many bubbles are in it look at it, it's barely flowing and look at it, it's almost all bubbles there's barely any liquid in there hmm let's add two or three more cans of refrigerant in there because I'm a guy who charges by using the bubbles as an indicator or maybe I'm one of those guys who use the high side pressure I need to have a higher high side pressure because 60 or 70 psi is too low So as you can see, here's a good example. A car that has been driven has lots of bubbles in the sight glass in a Prius that was just recharged two days ago and it doesn't have a leak. And so if you had a problem like low airflow, if you had a problem like old low airflow due to a dirty filter like this which didn't get changed for a few months because it's left on from 7 in the morning to 7 at night you would think you have to add more refrigerant because there's bubbles in the sight glass and we all know the YouTube professors and the couch potato engineers say bubbles in the sight glass means you are low not So I think that's enough just for a little teaser of what's going to come up. I'll be using the field piece software to do this. Uh, Measure Quick is a little overkill, the software for that for automotive. Unless you're actually doing some research and development, then you use the Measure Quick software. But for the normal air conditioning guy in an automotive shop, that is definitely not the software for you guys. That's only for research and development on automotive applications because it's meant for commercial and residential air conditioning and uh, more important applications than just cars. So that's it for today. And um, that's it, Prius. Normal refrigerant pressures with bubbles in the sight glass. Lots and lots of bubbles in the sight glass on a completely 100% full system where one or two days ago I just put 420 grams which is the factory fill expect uh, fill and that is normal and these are normal pressures and these are normal temperatures that's it catch you guys later next video